this could be a crazy town on its own. This is a Joy Reid uh, and Adam Schiff. Now, just oh, listen geez. to this discussion. Oh, Roll it. I need to go back to Republicans for just a moment okay. because both House and Senate Republicans have made it clear that when um, sort of the normal order resumes and when Congress is back in session and, mm -hmm. and at work, they're not interested in doing any work that involves legislating or helping people during this awful pandemic that's now taken, you know, COVID has now taken down, I don't even know how many administration officials. We've got Corey Lewandowski being the latest. You can go on and on and on, Mark Meadows. All of these officials, uh, even inside the Trump world, have it. Trump had it. Um, but what they want to focus on is investigating. They want to go after Hunter Biden still. They want to go after the investigations that led to impeachment, a time in which I think for a lot of people, you, you sort of became the modern day Thaddeus Stevens, you know, making your arguments against Trump during oh, impeachment. Yeah. They want to go sure. after the, the Mueller probe again. Is this what we're going to have to sit through for the next four years? Republicans just doing investigations and refusing to legislate? Oh. Okay, stop it. <laughs> now, how, I mean, could you get any more rich <laughs> than this? Given what we've just, what this president has lived through for four years, not one single solitary second of peace in any way, shape, or form, and a lot of it due to the guy on the right side of the screen. Yeah, the that guy lion, thieving, gold-plated weasel that he is. The guy who said he saw the evidence, he had the evidence. And this is the discussion that she's going to have with him. This is. How brain dead are these people? How out of touch to what just happened? Because they don't think anything happened in the last four years. They right. think they've been just fine. Well, because he's still president, so it, it didn't happen. And they're rewriting history, as they tend to do. Is this what we're going to go through for four years, investigation? Well, what the hell have we gone through for the last four years? Not one second. They went after him before. They went after him when he got elected, during the transition. They went after him the second he took office. This guy had all this evidence that no one else had. He's out there leaking to CNN. Uh, impeachment, Mueller, Ukraine, whistleblowers, all of it. And now this, and she's going to say, well, what are we going to go through for four years? They're going to go through investigations. Unity, everybody, unity. Meanwhile, she, did she say to him, hey, uh, um, do you think it's a good idea for uh, AOC and our party to be making a list of uh, people that we want to go after that were part of the Trump administration? No, of course not. At least we're going to go through investigations for four years. I mean, it's unbelievable, these people. What kind of, I mean, has she not been around for the last four years? Because, well, I ask these questions not because I'm looking for an answer. <laughs> because I just, it's just stunning to me. Well, fascists, that's the way they think. They think it's okay if they do it because they're doing it for the greater good. And if you don't agree with them, they'll put you on that list and try and take everything from you because, well, it's for the greater good. You don't know any better.